Hey guys, this is Julie. We're going to talk about spreads in this video for my customers who trade options. Um, so, why do people trade options? There are many reasons. Uh, I think a call spread or a put spread are the most popular options that you can trade. And so, a uh, bull put spread, for instance, when you think that price is going to be going higher, like right here, very bullish on the quarterly distribution. You might want to uh, have a bull put spread consisting of a short put with a higher strike pack, tr higher strike price, and then a long put a little bit lower, and that allows you to um, go uh, for a longer um, bullish, more bullish scenario. Uh, so that's where you would put a bull put spread. You would put the short put with the higher strike price and then you would buy the lower put um, so that you don't want it to go below that at all. Um, conversely, a, um, a bear call spread or a bear call credit spread, it's a strategy to use when you expect a decline in the price. So if you think price is coming down then you would be uh, selling a call option and buying a call at a higher strike price uh, but with the same expiration date so you would you know sell an option where you would think that it was going to go low and then you would buy a call above it and so essentially when you put a bull put spread in a bear call spread together, you're thinking that price is going to stay within that range. So basically if you do this on a quarterly basis, you can see a lot of traders will think that price is staying inside that quarterly one. When it breaks the quarterly one, it will often go to a higher time frame one. So the reason JATS is so wonderful for you option traders is you can put your time on different you know distributions so here's a 12 week and a nine, 3 month and a 90 day 12 week 3 month 90 day and so that'll give you an entire you know range of opportunities to be able to come in here and play with now one of the things about a quarterly spread is it's American style, so you can roll it any time. So I think a lot of the option traders will use a quarterly spread because there's nothing stopping them from going in and rolling it during the the three months. You know, if you were to put it on at the beginning of the calendar quarter, when these other distributions come out, so when you get, you know, a new 12-week you know, or a 90 day uh, change in the distribution, you can roll it out without any problems. Conversely, when you put together a monthly spread, you uh, are locked in. There's no rolling, right? You're, you really do have to be careful that, you know, you're pretty much locked in. And when you look at these levels with JATS, um, you'll be amazed to see that the dealer is coming in at these levels to bring the price back inside. The, back inside. So here's a one month, meaning the calendar days to the month. Here's 30 days, just flat out 30 days. And here's four week. So this distribution is really good actually um, most of the time. You can see that when it got a little bit outside that lower white line, they were pushing it back in. They did not want it to close below that, right? So they pushed it back inside. Um, and most of the time, these distributions stay intact. Um, this, it broke right here one time. You know, not everything's 100% perfect, but you go to your other time frames and you try to figure out, you know, is it going to like a quarterly or a weekly level? 
and here you can see right here that it was inside the quarterly too but it hit the weekly level and bounced so if we go back to June try to find this again right here you can see that this white one for a weekly one is the five day so for my week I do uh, a one week a five day and a seven day so the distributions are a little bit different right um, so that five day is above the seven day interesting huh or below it sorry I said above I meant below so the five day was below the seven day so they went down to tag it the market did the little algos and then they tagged it and they came back up so that little dip was the dip do you see what I mean that's the dip by the dip so these dips are buying opportunities when you get down there <laughs> Um, here we went outside just a little bit came right back up they don't let them get outside the monthly and the weekly so much as they do the quarterly the quarterly will break more often because they can roll it and they are rolling it to the monthly or the weekly closest one but otherwise these spreads stay within the football field right and once you put this on your chart and see this and amazed at where the dealers coming in you'll begin to trust these levels like I have learned so that you can be sending tweets out to BTFD when everybody else is you know selling ferociously and you see that it's down here at the three and you're BTFD because you know that they're pretty much at the end of the line and there's no better place right in a go up market is BTFD as far as location 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 to get long right and when you do that it's funny because every indicator on the short term basis is red 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 and you're the only one standing up saying BTFD people think you're insane but we're not we have our um, Jets PT and it measures these ranges quite well so here it is I put the one two three month all on one distribution and you could see that if you had sold that level you would have been fine because it did not close below it it you know tailed it a tiny bit but it went back in so um, how do you profit from this I mean I'll be glad you know to help you um, put these on your chart I've got templates for you um, give you some tips uh, and for putting these spreads together um, it's pretty self explanatory right you you're going you know either a monthly or a weekly spread um, we can sell a, a quarterly or a monthly uh, spread so let's sell a um, bear a bull put spread first a bull put spread because we think it's gonna go longer and we can um, again a short put with the higher strike price and then a long put at the lower one so we can come in and um, sell 42.75 and buy 41.10 uh, or 4100 so let's pull up quick strike real quick and see what we can do so go to options and um, here let me start over so you can well let me do a new so we can start all the way over choose your um, expiry 
So here's your end of month, July 31st. And then uh, we want to sell 42.75. Um, right here, so I'm going to put a minus there. There's our short put. And then I want to buy 41.10, 41.00. Right here, 41.10. So there's my short put spread. And I want to um, sell my um, bear call spread above it. So we're going to um, expect a decline in price from the point or location where this bear call spread is placed. So what we want to do is um, Buy a call at 47.45 and sell a call at 4,500. So um, we're going to sell 4,500 and we're going to put a minus there and then we're going to buy 47.45. say 47.50. So 51, so there's a sh there there's your short iron condor, right? So 51.58 uh, credit and that will translate to $5,158 for the month. So here's our spread. There's your break even at 43.51 and um, you just want it trading really between these lines and what we want to see is the margin so we need to have ten thousand dollars in the account to make 51.58 so 51.58 minus 10072.50 that would be a 51% return if we were able to keep the premium so um, that is one idea for you you can also simultaneously sell a weekly spread so right here, you can see that I've got um, a one week, a five day, and a seven day on the close. And you can see how most of the time it stays inside the weekly spread. Quite well. So, um, kind of tried to escape and they pushed it back in to close under the three at the end of the week so it did not it gave them a heart attack but the dealers pushed it back in and that was that explosion um, the week before when they were breaking that collar trade this is when the dealer started hedging that SPX collar so um Let's set up the quick strike real quick. What do we want to do here? Start a new one. And then what we want to do is um, I would say sell 4512 
and buy 45.59 and then um, sell 43.53 and buy 42.88 so let's put that together oops So we can do end of the week, July 7th. And we are going to um, sell 43.50. Short pit. And then we are going to um, buy 4288, 4285. Where's it at? So there's your short put spread. And then we're going to go above it for our bear call spread and selling an option at 45.12. So where's 45.10? So let's just say 45.15. So my 45.15, I'm gonna sell it. And then I'm going to uh, buy forty-five fifty. Forty-five fifty. And there's my short iron condor. So that is not as lucrative as the monthly, but five hundred ninety-nine dollars for the week. When you put that together with the monthly of uh, five thousand, so you can see that we're at you know, 50, 100 plus 6, 5,700 so far selling a monthly and a weekly. So that's good. So it adds up. And for the margin on this, $2,800. And this is quick strike. So if you put 2801.50 divide, that's 21% ROI for the week. So that's good. I mean, you clearly see that this beats repo. I mean, there's no reason to sit in the repo window if you have JATS PT. Um, you could even go out a little bit further if you wanted to, if you just didn't want to sell the one, twos, and threes, if you wanted to go uh, to some extensions, some tails. Um, the indicator allows you to uh, extend this out outside the deviation. So let's um, put one on the monitor so you can see it. And um, week and we're going to use fibs and I'm going to do 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1, 0 0.25, 0 0.7, excuse me, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1 and then I'm going to show you what these calcs do. So if you take your Fibonacci tool and go from one to one, right? That's 43.53 and 42.25. Lock that in. Okay, so if I take my ruler and I measure from the mean to the three, 
103 points. And if I duplicate that, oops, and go outside the 3, there's my tail. So I had 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. So the 0 0.25 is half of the range between the mean and the 3. And that gets hit all the time. And if I wanted to go from the mean all the way to from the 3 to the 3, right here, and do another measurement, you can see that that goes all the way to the top. And there's your 1, one time the distribution. So you can do measured moves of the distribution at your fingertips. Um, and the algos trade like this. So they will often, if they're going to break a range, go to these outside levels. Let's find a range break. They don't happen a lot, especially on the European style, because um, you can't roll it, so they'll get it back. They'll fake you out and they'll get it back inside. But if you want it, so see, you see it's very hard to even find one that made it down there. They do happen, but here we go. It went 0.25. And they had their risk right there. See what I mean? Jelly bean. It's hard to find these. Here's another 0.25. And that's where they were waiting. And here's a 0.5. So here was actually a uh, from mean to 3. And that's where they came in. So if you have Jats PT and you trade options and your distribution breaks and you need to hedge, I'm telling you, now you know where to go, right? <laughs> or, you know, something like that. The perfect hedge. I mean, if anything was perfect. So here they were trying to break it down and the dealer said, no, 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 got it back in. Wouldn't let them go any further. Um, and often, you know, you'll see that when these little breakouts occur, that this is actually, they're going to like a higher time frame. They're, they're actually trading a monthly or a quarterly level, not the weekly. So, but they do, you know, stay within the football field. Here you can see it went to the weekly three on Friday and came right back in. They don't allow it to close outside these levels very often. So you can learn to lean on these levels and or if you're day trading, trade to the levels, right? Because if it breaks the one, you're going to, it breaks, if you go from the mean to the one and from the one to the two and the two to the three for that time frame. One, two, three. It can't be any more difficult than that. Uh, and then you just need to get creative with how you're going to structure, you know, are you just going to sell a naked call or put? Or are you going to, um, you know, spread it or uh, make a condor, short condor out of it or a, like what I'm trying to show you or short strangle? by just selling the top line and the bottom line um, and going delta neutral inside of it. And what I'm trying to show you is these examples are showing you that you can beat point, you know, or that 5% that they're giving you at the repo window. Um, dealer does it every day of the week. And there's no reason that if you have a portfolio and want to hedge it, that here is a delta neutral way to do it and to give you more than 5%. I would like to see everybody back inside uh, the equity markets and out of the repo window and that would that would be great. And then of course, you know, respect the spreads um, because that's where, you know, these dealers are hedged and how they trade. And then always have, you know, your um, downside mapped out so that if it does break 
and run for, you know, like a COVID type event, you'll know where those machine algos are going to be coming in and see if you can catch, you know, um, you know, trade of the century, right? Getting that outlier, sending it back inside. So you know where the outliers are with this distribution. All right. So, um, Ninja Web is available, has the one, two, threes. We haven't added the tails yet. We'll be doing that in the near future. Uh, but right now you can trade the one, two, three distributions in Ninja Web if you want uh, to be able to get the tails at this time. You need to get the NT8 platform. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, but um, this is very exciting stuff. And especially when you can visualize that they really do try to put this inside uh, the ones um, and keep them inside the ones for these one month, two month, three month contracts. Uh, and you could probably set set it just to show the white. In fact, let me do that real quick. Be right back. Let me take the green and the red off. Okay, and here are just the white lines, right? So, white lines, and we want to see if this, whoops, so there it broke out of the white lines. That, there was another break. But normally, I would say a good, that was COVID. 90% of the time, otherwise, you can see that it stays inside the white lines, and these, you know, are probably OPEX or something like that, running through the twos and the threes. But otherwise, for the one, two, threes, if you just stay inside the ones of the one month, two month, three month, it is a very strong trade, especially in this low volatility. So if you have higher volatility like we did in 2022, that's when they tend to break. So the higher volatility will come to your twos and the threes. But your low volatility, they're keeping it inside the ones. I mean, clearly, just look at it. Okay. Same thing for like 2017, 2016 when we had the low vol. And so... Um, you can see right there, ones, 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 ones. <laughs> I think that was Hello Powell. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Yellen didn't give us that. That was one thing good about Miss Yellen. She kept it inside the lines. So um, if that gives you any ideas of, you know, being able to save money on the um, premium. But otherwise, you know, sell those twos and threes and do the spreads, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So thank you very much. I uh, hope this gave, gave you some ideas. Uh, the VIX, you know, you can spread that as well. The whites are the ones and the blues and purples are the twos and threes for these 23 days, 30, 37 day distributions. And you can see that they try to keep it inside the ones as well most of the time and right here the 1250 was protected they did not allow it to even get close to it so that's where they were uh, they had their put right there so you can create your own custom distributions here's a 68 day distribution that I was playing with ones and threes I, I like that 7 day 30 day distribution and these are threes Seven day threes, thirty day threes. Uh, the seven day are in white, and the thirty in blue. So you can see the seven day, thirty day. Let me get rid of this right here. It even worked on that dip. So 7 day, 30 day works really good for spreads, just FYI. 
seven day three, thirty day three. If you'd like a, you know. So, but, you know, there's nothing better to be able to come in and play with your spreads than having Jats PT right here. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we're, we have a special. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't share one last time. Um, there is a sale going on. And uh, now is the time uh, to get it for 175 That would lock you in for up to one year uh, for this price. Uh, the regular price after this will be 250 a month. Cancel any time. All right, so if you're even thinking about it, pick it up today before the 4th, end of the 4th. All right, so that it would be um, Tuesday midnight. All right, thanks guys so much. And um, let us know if there's anything else you would like to know. I appreciate it and have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you later.